You know me so well. <laughs> Is it on, Natasha? Maybe it also. Okay. So today we are working on find and win buyers. Are we ready for that? Yes. All right. That's what I want to hear. Michael will cheer me on. All right. Ignite Power Session number seven, find and win buyers. Converting buyer leads to signed buyer agreements. Has anybody looked at a buyer agreement yet? We're supposed to download one, but we haven't had a class on it. Okay, so that's in uh, zip forms. Yeah, that's right. I was going to ask you because the mission said it was in. Yeah, uh, do it whatever yeah. way you want. Off market center. Oh, off you? Yeah, I can't have a look. This way? Uh, is this good? Okay, perfect. And you want the wind on you. <laughs> we'll make it happy. It's like a gym class. <laughs> fans on this side, no fans on this side. Right? It's like Paradigm. We're like, it's all good. We'll make it work. <laughs> Whatever works. Micah, if you get hot, just move that way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm still that fan. And I'll just do this every once in a while. Okay. Okay. So I apologize for whatever's happening. Okay. All right, so, we love no um, All right. So we are on page five in session seven. Everybody with me? Oh, and by the way, if you have small print and you want actual readable print, we have readable print for, uh -huh. uh, for session seven. So you guys can take a version that you can actually read. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I know. When I make you do that. Micah, it's yours. Um, you tell me. It should be okay. You're all right? I'll manage okay. for now. You guys know where I'm awesome. I got contacts. I know. When I, oh, there you go. I know. When I looked at yours, I was like, I would not. You probably know about the fans. No way I do. All right. So we are on page five. Today's expectations. So number one, find buyers. Number two, qualify and schedule buyers for the consultation. Number three, we're going to educate your buyers and we're going to set service expectations. Uh, number four, we're going to learn and practice your buyer consultation. Did everybody bring a buyer consultation? Okay, I have an email set up to email you guys one too. Is it online? There, get it. You can get it on the documents, but I can email it to you. I already set up the well, email actually, and the attachment. What I set up is the presentation contract. I didn't find the buyer presentation. Okay, so I've got the buyer presentation and actually the um, questionnaire too. Okay, so where was that? Oh, uh, they're okay. under the My Documents in the KW intranet. They're under uh, okay. documents, market center documents. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And you guys are going to be super excited because I'm going to start. I have now, I spent yesterday creating a click-through form that will tell you how to get what you need. And you just click here, click here, click here, and it takes you where you want. It doesn't cover everything in great grand detail, but you guys would know, like it's a market center document, so that's where I would find it. That's so helpful. Yeah. So I'm going to put that, we're, we're debating whether we're putting it on on the KW or just going to do a share drive so you guys will have access to that. To make your life easy when it comes to finding all these things that you have no idea where they are, right? <laughs> Um, okay, so we are going to learn and practice the buyer's consultation. We're going to ask for the buyer agreement to be signed, and we'll talk about how that works, and then we're going to establish some next steps. Does that sound like a good, fun class? Don't you like the way I use the word fun? Come on, that's fun. <laughs> All right. I'm going to devote the majority of time on activities. I'm going to show you guys great role models, and I am going to support you guys by holding you accountable to your 10-4 and your pre-work mission. All right. So, action reveal. We're on page six. All right, so how did we do with our homework? 50%, 100%, 0%. 25. 25%? Well, I couldn't find those two. I couldn't find those two documents. Okay. But I did the homework with um, two different price ranges, days on market, and everything. Perfect. Else, so. Perfect. We're going to talk about that. Okay. So, um, daily 10 4, how are we doing on that? I know we were here two days ago, but how did we do yesterday? Did anybody do any of their daily 10 4 yesterday? A little bit. Not 10. Okay. Again, we had that conversation yeah. about it being not 10 and that being okay as long as it's sustainable, right? and then we can get better as we go. So how did we do? Did we make some calls? Reach some people? We talked to that lead on the um, B &B. B &B. Nice. coming on Friday. His best friend's wife is a realtor, but he said he'd rather use me, so he's going to try to tiptoe around all that. And I sent him the app sure. this morning with a follow-up email saying, get so much quality back. Yes. Or if you get here. So he's going to be on Friday. 
So for him, you may want to have a, uh, a, like know where at the city that you, or the county that you need to go, yeah. and actually so that you can take him there yeah. and be like, can we have all the documents for a B and B, or even go ahead and say, can we can we give them? <clears throat> we don't want to share information that's verbally told, but we can always share documentation. Yeah. So working on that. One. Good, excellent. And how'd you do? Good. Yeah. Oh, you reach a few people. Mm -hmm. Nice. Did you send me note cards? <laughs> She's anti-teacher. I get it. I get it. And Micah, how'd it go for you? Uh, good. I was running out of contacts in my phone, but so I okay. reached out on social media. You know, guys who I didn't have my phone on, and yeah. a lot of my friends are like on social media and stuff too. So I yeah. reached out to them on top of that. So. Excellent. And you know, you should be able to share the link to your app right mm -hmm. on social media. Yeah, I figured that out. Just copy yeah, and, that's a great yeah. tool. Just get because once they get it, it's like. If you talk to somebody and they say, you know, I want to be a homeowner, but I'm probably five years away. Awesome. The best thing you can do is educate yourself and play with this app. Like, have fun with it for the next five years. And by the way, if you meet anybody else that is interested, in, they can share that app too. Right? So it's a great tool. And yeah, you can share it directly on social media. You can share it in a message messaging format in social media as long as you have the link. And then you can share it on your page too. And we're happy to link. So you have a specified link that's your link. And the way I find it, it's a little roundabout, but it works for me. I text it or email it to myself and then just copy and paste the link. Because when you when you text or email it, it's got the link. So that'll take you to so when you click on your actual, you know, text, if you send it to someone and you just click on it, it'll take it to the actual page where they're gonna download your app. Yeah. So that's just the way I do it. Okay, that's not that. There may be an easier way. If somebody comes up with it, please share it with me. I texted it this morning when I shared it, I shared my text. So I'll have that. Perfect. Then you should be able to just pull up that text, yes. click on the yes. app, and it'll no, it's just, it's doesn't matter because you'll have a sent text. So you can go into your sent text, click on the app, it'll pull up the web page. And, yeah. then, e and then you just yourself? copy and paste the web page. Mm -hmm. Then you have you just need that web address. Okay. Uh, what I do is I actually take that web address and keep it on a file on my computer so I can just copy and paste that web address. That's the easy way to find Awesome. So we did some phone calls. And um, do we add anybody to our database? Very nice. And did anybody go to our favorite radio station and actually track that? 104.com? Daily104.com. So that's how you can keep track. So then when you're doing your tracking, you've got your history. It's just 104.com. Daily. Daily104.com. Daily has anybody been there yet? I was not. Right, so no, session I'm seven and three. Has anyone been there? No. Okay. So we definitely want to get you guys there quicker. Yeah. Daily104.com is great. You can track and it'll say how many did you, you know, you actually just put in how many you have, how many you talk to, and you can keep track and it'll keep your history and you can pull it up. So awesome. All right, so um, did you write any notes on the poems you previewed? We'll bring to class to share. Who wants to share? <laughs> Micah, did you do that? I looked at some poems, but I didn't really like, take notes on them. Like, okay. Like that. Um, I compared them from, like, looked at the houses with in the town of like Wailuku and Kahlua and looked at, compared it to, um, I remember being part of the, um, this, what was that? Not, like a CMA? Well, I looked at all the listings and then I was comparing them to the, um, oh, the, where it shows all the stats and everything. InfoSparks. InfoSparks, yeah, I don't know why I forgot about it. Yeah, nice. InfoSparks. Compared it to that and just looked at it. Kind of see if it's in line. See, or see if it's in line, if it's above or below, see how much these on the market and stuff. Good. Like that. Yeah. So you're refining your pricing techniques. So yeah. I like that. Just getting a Keep ballpark. Doing that. So what I do is I like I look at the listing first and then think of what it's list, going to be listing for mm -hmm. and then look on InfoSpark to see what the comparative um, data is. Awesome. So then you know if you're on target or not, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Love it. I mean the more you the more, the smarter you get about pricing, the better you get at your intuition about pricing, mm -hmm. right? That's why I asked the ladies, what do they say? What would you do it as? 
you, your intuition was better because you've done the research, right? Once you start doing the research, you get you get smarter at knowing what's going on. So good for you. All right. Um, let's see. Did anybody practice scripts with a partner? I know you are you partner with Raiden now. Yeah, partner with Raiden. Yeah. But I mean, we haven't gotten together or anything yet. But, okay. Um, we've right. been in the works about it. Good. We got our information and stuff, and we're probably going to get together sometime this week to talk cool. about it more. And it can be online, on the phone. Yeah. Definitely yeah. can be on the phone. Pick, pick some specific time in your calendar that you guys can kind of repeat. Yeah. And I know it's a little rough because you're an Ignite, right? So it's like 9 o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays would be ideal when you're driving here, right? Yeah. You, can, you can do it in the car, but it's better if you're sitting somewhere and you can read the scripts and get better at it. So good. You guys are working on that. And then, have you ladies been working on scripts at all? I thought it was the first great. Yeah. I mean, you went for it and you dove right in and you you knew what you were talking about. That's the most important thing. So, I you know, have to do with that. Really trust me, it's very <laughs> different when you're, talking, you're giving me a presentation because, like, I know my stuff, right? Like, yeah. when you give a presentation to a seller, they think they know stuff and they may not even have the right information, right? Like, we were talking about. So, Practicing is ideal, ideal. I would definitely say, if you guys are going to do that listing presentation, go through it a couple times yeah. with each other, get real nice and clean and clear, right? Yeah. We'll yeah. Have time to get together, actually, now, I think. Okay. Okay. So we're ready soon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So, did everybody put together a list of names to call in Power Session 7? Sure. <laughs> that sounds like a no. <laughs> Is anybody working on the DTV2 system now? So that's the numbers where you, or the sorry the letters where you're calling two letters every week. So if you if 26 letters in the alphabet, you break it down, 13 weeks in a quarter, and you call two letters. And we have the breakdown. It's on the TLR. Uh, I'm sorry, it's on the Facebook locker room page. I have I gave it to you guys this breakdown, and it you just. I put it in my calendar, like literally my desk calendar. You sit down next time you guys are in there. Like I have NW, DNO, like it's already down there, so I know what I'm doing every week, right? This is my DNO week. So, and then you just call everybody with that mouse in. Mm -hmm. So they've broken it down so that you're not calling two letters like an accident. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. Talk to me about your research. Average days on market in two different price ranges and number of homes for sale on the same price range. Talk to me about that. So I did two love. Oh, you're on the way back. Perfect. Sounds good. Have fun. Sorry. It's okay. Between two fifty and four ninety nine. Okay. Uh, they were one hundred and twenty days on the market and one hundred and thirty seven houses for sale. Between two fifty and four ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. And then how many houses for sale? 120. And no, for sale 137. And this is in Kula? Yeah. Days on market 120. This is in Kula? I think maybe I did maybe I did all about country. I, I yeah. Don't remember. In that price range, did I was like, that would have shown. I guess I forgot to write it, but I probably did like Makla and Linda. Yeah. And um, Kublani. Did Kublani. I was going to say, yeah. if you didn't have Kublani, I don't think you'd have one. Yeah. I did all about country. Perfect. Okay. So, um, but not haiku. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then I did the price range of a million and over. And that was 158 days on market and 486 for sale. Isn't that interesting? Then the lower price range is 137 for sale and a million and over, there's 486. In sure. our country? Yeah. Was, the, was it to do a certain area? Um, or was this all of, I know, it does seem like a lot. That's, there's no way there's that many on the market. So what so, you may have pulled up, so that was the info sparks that you did that way? Yes. So remember, it can give you what happened in the last 12 months, or it can give you what's on the market in this month. It's, it's what's right now. So, okay, so. But maybe I did it for the whole island or something. That would make sense. Maybe I didn't do it for a certain area. Yeah. It was the assignment for a certain area, or just these um, two criteria? You know, it was average days on market in two different price range, but it was local market stats. So that was, you know, it, oh. it was up to you, kind of where you wanted okay. to narrow it down. I'm sorry, I wish I remember better, but now that I'm looking no, at this, it has to not be area. Specific. Yeah, no, I don't think we have, many. I don't think we have 486 But it's still plus interesting, plus isn't it, market. that there's so many more at a million plus on yes. the market than there are under uh, 499? Yes and no. So 
if you come to the meetings where we have the meetings, a lot of times what you hear is, I've got a buyer, 750, does anybody have anything? I've got a buyer, 125, does anybody have anything? And remember what we were just talking about, our market's already shifted for that one. Mm -hmm. I think it's shifted for, don't quote me on this, about 1.2 or nothing. Um, and the 800 to 1.2 is sort of, was already on that shifting too. The, the, the higher end already went sort of on its shift, so you have more on the market, you have mm -hmm. a little more properties on the market. Um, and that's why it's important to know stats, right? What's yeah. happening. So if you have a lower priced property, you can be a little more aggressive with price. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Any questions about that? Cool. All right. Did we all bring a copy of a buyer rep agreement from your market center? Okay. Uh, and you said not all of you have seen that. So if you go into zip forms, if you go into zip forms, have you seen one of those yet, Michael? Yeah, the buyer representation contracts. Yes. Yeah, I have, it on, I have it up right now. Perfect. Okay. So that, and you know how to get there, Deborah? I'm going into um, zip forms. Zip forms right now. Perfect. So it's just a buyer representation agreement. It's good for you to read through that, know what you're talking about when you're talking, you know, if you're going to ask a buyer, and it's really easy to ask them. They are you ready to hire me? By the time you're done with your buyer rep, I mean your buyer presentation, they love you anyway because they're like, you just spent so much time with me. You're like an awesome professional, and of course I want to hire you, so sign here. <laughs> so it's pretty simple. All right. And like I said, I've got, we can always pull that. Um, okay, download and print the Ignite buyer presentation. Uh, did anybody download and print that one? I have it downloaded, I have it printed. Okay, perfect. And that's fine, you don't have to print it. And I'm going to send you guys another one too, so you'll have one to work through the day if you don't have it. I don't think that's the Ignite one though. Um, download and print, we'll just say download the Ignite Fire Needs Analysis. So there's also a needs analysis. And the needs analysis is going to be fun because you're going to find that there's a lot of questions that in certain markets you're not really going to want to narrow down that much because it's just not, you know, we don't have thousands of homes to choose from, right? So we're going to want to get clear of what questions are the most important to ask. All right, did you guys watch the videos? One, two, three, four, five videos. Yes. There's only one, right? Uh, what, what'd what you say? There's only one video, right? Watch the real play, respond to inquiries on a for sale sign. Watch the buyer's consultation. Watch get buyers to a consultation. Watch get a sign agreement. And watch close the buyer. Mine's only one five-minute one. Yeah, is this the buyer, buyer's consultation? Well, let me see yeah, your, show me your mission. It might be different, like I said, you guys have a year's like a five minute video? Yeah, let's see. So, yeah, it's gonna be on the end of, no, that's the other one. This is five.
you go. One more time. I easily find motivated buyers. Again. I easily find motivated buyers. Okay, now imagine that the, <laughs> yeah, see, now imagine that like the more awesome you say it, the more buyers you get, the more money you make. So again, I easily find motivated buyers. That was a little bit better. So I'm going to do it with you guys. Okay, you ready? I easily find motivated buyers. <laughs> On your own, one more time. I easily find motivated buyers. I like it. Now this time we're going to focus on the word motivated. So I easily find motivated buyers. Because what does motivated do? It makes all the difference. Puts money in your pocket, baby. All right, you guys are going to make some calls. Okay, so you're going to record your results below. Uh, get your phone on your list of contacts, developed in your mission, and let's do it.